phototropism in plants is a response in which a plant shoot grows toward a light source. The results of five different experimental treatments from classic investigations of phototropism are shown above. Part A gives support for the claim that the cells located in the tip of the plant shoot <laughs> gives support for the claim that the, that the cells located in the tip of the plant shoot detect the light by comparing the results from treatment group one with the results from treatment group two and treatment group three. So we want to compare these first, first three treatment groups. And you see when you have an all unaltered tip that the whole plant is going to bend in the direction of the light. When you remove the tip, it no longer bends in the, in, the, in the direction of the light. Or if you were to cover the tip with some type of an opaque cap so the light can't go through it, it's still not going to bend. So this is pretty good evidence that there's, some, there's something about the tip of the plant that allows the phototropism to occur. It allows the plant the, to know which direction the light is and, and, then makes, and then somehow causes it to bend in that direction. So I'll just write that down. Give support for the claim so we can say that phototropism, phototropism, phototropism only occurred, only occurred when there is a, an unaltered tip, unaltered tip that has access to the light, that has access to light. No bending occurred, no bending occurred, occurred when either the tip was removed, the tip was removed, that was that was treatment two. So treatment, treatment two, or the tip was, tip had an opaque cover. The tip had an opaque cover. That was treatment, 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 Three, so that's all there is to it. It only occurred when there was an alt altered tip, so that was treatment one, that has access to light. No bending occurred when either the tip was removed in this one, in treatment two, or treatment three. So it's a pretty good indication that you need that tip and it needs to have access to the light. Something about the tip lets the plant know what direction to start bending in. All right, let's do part B now. Part B, in treatment groups four and five, so that's these two treatment groups right over here. The tips of the plants are removed and placed back onto the shoot on either a permeable or impermeable barrier. Using the results from treatment groups four and five, describe two additional characteristics of the phototropism response. Well, when, when the tip was placed on top of a permeable, ba permeable barrier, the phototropism still happens. The, the plant still bends. So even though the, the tip is disconnected, because this barrier is permeable, the tip must be able to sense the light and release some type of substance or hormone or chemical or something that's able to go through this permeable, permeable barrier, some type of substance that goes through this permeable barrier and somehow signals to the rest of the plant to bend in the right direction. Because when you put an impermeable barrier right over here, the, the tip might be trying to release those same substances, but they can't get through, and so the rest of the plant doesn't know to bend or in what direction to bend. So we could say, we could say tip, tip must release some type of hormone, hormone, I say chemical, chemical that signals to rest of plant to bend, to bend, and in which direction, which direction. 
we know this, we know this because only the, or only, I could say treatment for, only treatment for, treatment for permeable barrier. And I'll say where the, where the barrier is permeable to that substance, where the barrier is permeable, permeable to that substance, that substance, we know this because only treatment for, where the barrier is permeable to the substance, shows, shows phototropism, phototropism, not treatment, treatment five. We know this, we could say because of the two, of four and five, only treatment four, where the barrier is permeable to that substance, shows trope, tropism, phototropism. That's the only explanation here, that it's not doing it through, somehow doing it through radio waves or releasing substances that somehow float in the air to the rest of the plant, that somehow it's some, some type of substance is going through, through directly from the, the tip to the rest of the plant, and when you block it, it's not able to send those chemical signals. That's, that's the best. That's the best explanation uh, that I can think of for this behavior that we see between treatments four and five.